Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo, Cat Dad Piper. Hope you're having a great day whenever, wherever you find this. It is a, a cool January Saturday here in Iowa. It's about 30 degrees, maybe 33 if we're lucky. Uh, but otherwise, not too bad of weather. Got a light dusting of snow last night, but it's mostly melted as far as the sidewalks and the streets and stuff like that. But I thought I'd come to you today with another tobacco review. As with any review, this is just more of a tasting. This is what I'm getting of it and my thoughts. If it sounds something like something you might be interested in, by all means, research further or give it a try. But I'm no expert, so what do I know? We are looking at another Home and Hearth blend, an aromatic Home and Hearth, if you don't know, it's from Pipes and Cigars. And this is a bulk blend. And uh, recently I did the Home and Hearth Eggnog. I love that aromatic. But this is Home and Hearth Caramel Apple Pie. I've mentioned this one before in a couple of videos, but we'll do a little deep dive. Got the uh, bowl packed. Got my uh, Honey Pot Missouri Meerschaum Cob Pipe packed. This is probably my favorite cob, and I haven't smoked out of it for a while. So it should be free of ghost. It is a uh, Virginia Cavendish blend. As you can see, it's kind of a uh, loose leaf. It's a little bit drier than the eggnog as far as moisture. It's actually about perfect moisture, it should be. I smell it, it smells nice and sweet. Definitely get a little bit of like maybe nuttiness from the Cavendish. Some nice natural baked good aromas. I'm not smelling apple. Not really smelling much of a spice, which you might think of with a caramel apple pie. I don't know if I'm smelling caramel, but I am smelling sweetness. But it smells really good. I'm getting a little bit of vanilla in there, maybe, if anything. But let's give it a uh, char light and a true light and uh, see what's going on with this one. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm not a... Uh, try to make videos and have a pipe when I can, but I have to work with the weather. Got matches because I'm in the garage. As you can see, it lit right away. Not getting a whole lot just off the initial char light. Just smoking tobacco. Go a little tamp and get it going good. Of course, I hear every car out on the street right now today. Saturday, nobody's out and about. Okay. Again, a very light flavor. Probably a lighter mouthfeel, not overly 
sweet. I mean, you think it would be sweeter based on the uh, bag note or the tin note, if you will. Let's see if we can do a retro hill. Hopefully, I'm not too congested in the nose. Retro Hill, I'm going to build like maybe like an Amaretto. Get a little bit of baking spices, a little tingle in the nose. I'm mainly just getting a very uh, slightly sweet Virginia Burley. Now I've smoked this about three or four times since I've gotten it. I'm getting very similar results. So I'm going to tell you right up front, this is not a very complex aromatic if anything it's lacking it's good but I don't know that I'm getting caramel not like the say la vie creme caramel tobacco which if you're not familiar with that I do have a tobacco tasting playlist and I did a video on that it should be there I'm not really getting much vanilla or spice or I'm getting sweet and reminiscent of something, but I'm not getting caramel apple pie. I'm definitely not getting the apple. Um, so from that aspect, even though it's a good tobacco, it's disappointing. Uh, if you were to just give this to me blind, I could probably take 10 guesses and I don't know that I would guess caramel apple pie. Versus the eggnog, home and hearth. Blindly, I don't know, maybe after four or five guesses, I might say eggnog just because it's kind of a weird flavor to begin with. But I would definitely give you like spices and vanilla and creamy and it tastes like eggnog. Even the Santee from Low Country, which is a uh, Virginia tobacco <clears throat> that one's got a hint of apple and that apple is definitely more pronounced it's really nice I feel like if I mix one or two parts of low country Santee with a uh, one part say la vie creme caramel I feel like that would give me more of a caramel apple pie experience Hmm. There, as I inhaled on that second to last puff, I did get a little bit of a caramel flavor. But it came and went just fast enough for me to pick it out. Let me try the other cheek, see if that does anything. Yeah, um, get a little more spice. Maybe like a cinnamon. Get a little bit more of the caramel. So it's getting better, but I'm still not getting the apple. I'm going to go ahead and put this video on pause. You'll have to wait just a few seconds and I'll be right back. I'm going to do what I usually do, smoke through the bowl good ways so we're on about the last third or so. See if my impressions have changed. See if the tobacco has maybe changed. I know a lot of times with aromatics, the aromatic part will dissipate towards the latter part of a bowl. So a small bowl is usually a good idea, but 
I'll give you my final thoughts and uh, let you on your way. Enjoy some other guys in the YTPC, but just hold on one moment. All right, I'm back. I'm about on the last third of the bowl. Um, the little flavor that's in this aromatic, it's sticking around surprisingly, so that's good. But again, not getting a whole lot of uh, apple I've gotten maybe once or twice in a retro hill. But otherwise, the apple is undistinguishable. And before I came out here, I picked up a uh, Caribou Coffee Caramel Espresso Shaker. Took a couple sips of that. Seeing if the caramel from that would maybe help bring out the caramel in here. And uh, maybe it has, I don't know. I haven't had it to relight it. It's burned well, so the moisture is great. This one's tough for me because on one hand, it's a perfectly decent tobacco. It's enjoyable to smoke. And I know you should let your taste buds, you know, do the tasting instead of like reading different tasting notes. But with an aromatic, if it's advertised a certain flavor, you want to taste that flavor. And while the eggnog succeeds in spades, I feel like this one's lacking. Only getting any resemblance of caramel or apple or pie because I'm looking for it. Blindly, I would have no idea, I don't think. But you might enjoy it, so if it sounds like something you're interested in, by all means, check it out. I uh, got one more bulk from Home and Hearth to do a tasting on coming up. That's the uh, Virginia Meat Candy. That'll be an interesting one to review. And uh, also hope to be coming here in maybe the next month or so doing a re-review of a uh, Cherry Cobbler from Briarworks. Because that kind of got a uh, mini review combined with another aromatic uh, last year. So, Anyways, hope you're having a great day whenever you find this. Hope you're enjoying a good pipe. Let me know what you're smoking down below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you soon.